All right, in this video, we're going to be going over the activity feed on HubSpot. So what this means is that it is every interaction in terms of opening and clicking on links in your emails. So how we can set this up is that it can be your default homepage on HubSpot. And we always suggest this so that you can check your email activity at the start of your shift. And this can be done by clicking the gear icon or going to your profile and preferences. I'm going to go ahead and click on the gear icon to get to my user preferences. Once that is loaded, then I'm just going to scroll down to the bottom and you can see that this account already has the activity feed as their default homepage. If you were to change it, so sometimes your default will generally be your contacts page. Anytime you were to change it, I'm just going to drag this up a bit more. Then you'll see what will pop it up at the bottom is that it's asking you if you want to change the one setting that you changed. And you'll just go ahead and click on save to update the activity feed. And from there, you'll give it a few minutes. And anytime you were to click on this little icon, your default homepage will then be your activity feed. If that is not your preference, you're also able to access your activity feed straight from the contacts drop down list. You can see I can go to the activity feed from there as well. With that, in your activity feed, you'll be able to see when prospects are clicking on your emails. So I'm going to go ahead and I can see this is for opens and other activity. I will then drop that down. And here I can see that they've opened up the emails at different times. And I can see previous emails and a form when a form has been submitted. I just want to go ahead and look for, you can change your email activity types. So I want to go for email clicks. And yeah, I can see when someone has clicked on an email. So yeah, I can see they clicked on the demo call link in the email. This person's got multiple clicks. And here I can also see when they've opened the email up via their phone or via their computer. So this just helps you to see who are the leads that are engaging with your emails very often. And then you can go and click on their name and go and contact them from there. So that's how you use your activity feed.